CataractCoach.com. This is the best of Cataract Coach with our expert panelists, Dr. Rosa Bragamili and Dr. Deepinder Dhaliwal. Now, okay, another one. Oh, we forgot to say CataractCoach.com, but whole punch sign. This is probably not good. We've got an experienced surgeon here who's operating. And chopping up the nucleus, again, good job, very talented. And cleaning that up pretty nicely here. And at the end here, the key is, watch out for that hole punch sign. So certain operating very fast. We've obviously sped the video up, but if I slow it down here in just a second, you'll see, trying to get that epinuclear shell out, which is super thin, and then you're just trying to vacuum through it, and that's so far so good. And then, there we go. And now you feel better. So now a little bit of vacuum oh. there. Oh, we go right there. Eesh. So now what do you want to do? Not a big deal, just proceed with the case. Pull the probe out of the eye immediately. Keep the probe in the eye and inject OVD. Inject trimcinolone. Stop and cry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what you were saying earlier, DB, right? Keep the probe in the yeah. eye for sure. And kind of give us the basics here for the younger surgeons in the room. Why is that so critical? If you keep the AC pressurized, vitreous is not going to come forward. So whenever you deal with a situation, stay in the eye, take a deep breath, ask for viscoelastic, learn how to put viscoelastic in with your non-dominant hand. That's a critical skill. Mm. Do it on every case. So when you have a case like this, you're really good at it. Also, like in a routine case. I, in a routine case, whenever I'm done, b before cortex, so I get okay. the epinucleus and nucleus out, I ask for viscoelastic, I put it in with my non-dominant hand, uh, and then... So you're back. adept at doing that. So what kind of viscoelastic I think is important to stay? Okay, stay. what do you want to... Oh, they pulled out of the eye. Look, oh, don't pull out. No. So certain pulled out of the eye, didn't follow your advice here. Now using a Simcoe, cleaning this up. And remember how small the hole was because it was made with a FACO tip? Yeah. Why? What happens when the hole gets bigger? Why does it get bigger? You'll see the hole's a lot bigger now. Oh, there you go. Why is the hole bigger? Because the anterior hyaline face broke. And now yeah, if you pull it, that's vitreous yeah. stretching out that hole. Yeah. Well, I mean, good news here, here you don't need a yak cap slobby, right? <laughs> so, so Sir's going to clean this up here, but you're definitely going to have to do the vitrectomy. I like that we're not using the main incision here. I'd love some triamcinolone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oof. But yeah, I think if we'd follow your advice, we'd be able to get, instead of, that, just, instead of this huge opening, we'd have just the one small puncture site. Yeah. And you probably wouldn't have all the vicious prolapse here. And this is where, when you do have that one small puncture site, you can convert that to posterior yeah. continuous capsorexis, and then it won't widen like that when you start taking out your cortex. Yeah, not anymore though, huh? No. You guys ever use a Simcoe cannula? I don't even know if I have one. Yeah. I yes, have. I've used it. Yeah? It's great. Great control. So there's the triamcin load. So now it looks like a good clean anterior segment. Yeah. That looks pretty nice. reasonable. And so now obviously here for a lens is probably going to be a three piece. I think the rex still looks reasonable. Very, very much so. Is it okay if you can't get an optic capture? It looks yeah. like the rex is too big or too irregular. Do you think, do, if you do anything else? If you can't get else? an optic capture, then lower your lens power by 0.5. I like that idea for sure. So, so what about the lens placement? Three piece haptic sulcus, optic capture if you can. If you cannot, you can put the whole thing in the sulcus, but lower the eyeball powers, as Rosa said. Obviously, don't put a single piece in the sulcus. And um, the other answer, F, is do Yamane. And oh, by the way, it's not Yamani. He told me, I met him in, in a meeting. He says, Doctor, it's Yamane. So, Yamane. But we can, uh, I think your answer is for sure this optic capture. And then remember, there's a different A concept for your three piece lens compared to your single piece. So, you definitely have to take that into account. So the A constant's for sure different. Usually it's like 118.7 versus 119.2. So you already have to drop the L power by half, even if you have the optic of the 3Bs in the bag, Correct. because it's a lower A constant. Yep. And then here you can certainly put in, again, all in the sulcus, but then drop the power even a little bit more. And then do you do, do you, would you do a PI if you did that or not? You don't need it. Because no. the lens are angled enough, right? Yeah. They usually have a five or 10 degree angulation of the haptic optic junction. So here comes the lens. I like the certain also increase the size of the incision here. There's the seven L rule, leading haptic like a number seven, optic coming out, and then the trailing haptic should look like the capital letter L. There's the seven L rule, there it is. And now we get the little more viscoelastic, get that thing lined up. And a case like this, I always like to put a suture in. I just don't want the green. Yeah, Absolutely. What do you tell the patient post-op? I always tell me a bad tissue. 
<laughs> it's true. I mean, listen, there may have been some iatrogenic component, but for sure right now, the cap is pretty bad. Well, I don't know so. why they wouldn't have used trimcillin before. Wait, so, how do you tell the patient they have bad tissue? He just says it. You have bad protoplasm. You, you, you Your tissues. It's, okay. He's saying it was the patient's fault. It's always the patient's fault. It's always passing the buck. Got it. No, listen, we can take shared responsibility, but no, I think the important thing is, you, 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 listen, you don't try to do anything bad for a patient. You want to help patients. You really do. But 100% of surgeons in this room have broken the bag and 100% have dropped the nucleus, except the ones who are not really surgeons or the ones who are lying. So you've, you've done it. It happened to everyone. So just being honest with the patient and tell the patient, I 